Hello, welcome to Billy Effects. I'm taking you back to the basics. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the basics of all of my haunted house makeup. Well, with an airbrush. I'm rocking the Page Talon. Today, we're gonna to only be using two colors, white and black. That's all you need for your foundation. Let's get right into it. With our whites, we're gonna put on a very light coat. We're not gonna be a clown white, we're just gonna be pale. Be sure to cover up your eyebrows. There we go, a nice pale face. Now it doesn't need to be even all the way around because well, we're a monster, we're not clean. Now using the black, I'm gonna hollow out all the points in my face very lightly. You'll see what I'm talking about. Just lightly cover your hairline, just like that. There we go. Now we're gonna hollow out our chin. There we go. I like having a more angular chin. Makes me think a little bit more creepy. Let's see, we're gonna do our temples. Just for now, very lightly. Cheekbones. And eye sockets. All right, now we have our foundation. Now we're gonna mess with the eyes a little bit. I like doing these very angular, angry look. We're gonna basically redraw our eye sockets here. We're gonna start at the very corner of our eye and very sure we can go up and around and end right about in this area here. Now, just like how I did all the shadows, we're just gonna very lightly shadow where we wanna draw and then go in with a harsh line. Now you can see where our shadow is. And we're just gonna go in with a harsh line. There we go, very angry look. <laughs> and now we're gonna trace out our wrinkles underneath the eye. There we go. <laughs> and now harsh line. There we go. All right, let's do the same thing for the other eye. All right, we're angry. We're becoming a monster. Here we go. Let's do the same thing for our temples. We're gonna trace out. There we go. Now we have our shadow where we want to put our line. And now, harsh line. Same thing for the other side. <laughs> All right, cheekbones. Let's go. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be doing very angular cheekbones. All right, we have our shadow. Let's go on with that harsh line. There we are, very angular. Let's do the same thing for the other side. Do some light shining underneath of them. Make sure we have depth. All right, now we're gonna hollow our forehead here. Now, you can probably already see, but I have these lines right here. I don't know what they're called, but we're gonna outline them anyway. You'll see what I'm talking about. We're gonna shadow first. There we go. And harsh line. Now these are the hardest to replicate. I don't know why, can never figure it out, but hey, we're doing it anyway. It doesn't need to be perfect. Of course, hollow out the inside of them as well, or shadow. All right, 
we're not looking really angry enough. So we're gonna we're gonna airbrush a couple of these lines in the middle here. And now we're gonna hollow out our nose. And of course, our lips. And when you paint your lips, it doesn't have to be like lipstick. You can go a little overboard, but you just don't want a huge blob of black in this area. All right, let's do some more wrinkles. We got our two wrinkles up here, and we're gonna do some around the mouth. And we're gonna do another shadow on our chin. There we are. <laughs> All right, let's get back to our eyes for a little bit here. Let's make this, have this inner part a little bit more dark. Perfect. Um, let's add some more eye bags under the eye. Yeah, very textured. <laughs> Let's see here, we're gonna risk it a little bit. We're gonna put another wrinkle in this area as well. <laughs> there we go. I added a couple more blemishes as well. <laughs> now we're gonna paint our neck. We're gonna shadow out and then go on with the harsh line. All right, now for the harsh line. All right, now to add some texture, I usually put a bunch of small little lines in this open area. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the black again all around my face, kind of make everything a little bit more darker. Now be careful, don't go to overboard or else it'll start to get really muddy. Now for a couple of the wrinkles underneath the eye, as you can probably tell that this airbrush paint is not like a true black. So what I like to do is get my handy dandy grease makeup and redraw some of the wrinkles underneath my eyes using a black grease paint. Let's see, I might go in with the black grease paint a couple more times around my face, maybe in the very center of all of these harsher lines. Just to add a little bit more fun, we're gonna recreate these little lines on our cheeks using our paintbrush. Same thing for their temples. And let's see, maybe around the mouth as well. Now, realistically in a haunted house, if someone were to come in late and well, I had to do their makeup last minute, 
I would only have time to wind out their face and put black on them. But since we have all the time in the world, we're gonna go on a step further. We're gonna add some texture to all this makeup here. And my favorite way of adding texture is either drawing veins or using stencils. <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit of both so I can kind of show you what's happening here. For a little bit more texture, I really love this stencil. I think it's like an alien stencil uh, by BMA or BAM. All right, I would consider this done. Now, I was going pretty slow through all this, but you can easily recreate this under five minutes. Now, in order for that to happen, you just have to remember all the steps in your head and just spew it all out at once, basically. Now, like I said, realistically, if this was a last minute person, you're not going to do all the fun little detail stuff, but if this person was in a dark room, or basically anywhere, I mean, this can work as a zombie, maybe a doctor, it's a very universal character. I'll be sure to put affiliate links down below for all the products I've used in this video. Be sure to check out my GoFundMe, I'll put a link in the description below, but I really need your guys' help to, well, send me off to makeup school. I want to get better at what I'm doing and hopefully get a job doing that. Oh, one last thing. Be sure to check out all my social media. I'll post links in the description down below, but my Instagram is Billy underscore effects and my Facebook is Silly Billy the Clown. I will keep you updated with all the spooky stuff happening in my life. I will see you next weekend.